Do you need to use a self-timer or remote shutter when doing Astro with phones? Coming up. It's the second most common question I get asked on all of my videos. Why aren't I using it? There is a reason why people are asking this question. The reason is this. Using big boy cameras, you really do need to use a timer because any little jump, any bump, any knock is absolutely going to turn up in the photo from one of these. In fact, when I was using DSLRs to shoot this sort of photo, I would even lock up the mirror so it didn't have a mirror shake doing astrophotography because on those cameras, every little bump, knock, movement of the wind, everything would affect the sharpness of the stars. But that's not the case with iPhones. And that's because iPhones are capturing that light a little bit before you push the shutter and a little bit after it finishes. And once this thing does that and stacks them all together, it gets rid of any knock or anything like that that you've had in the photo. Not always. You know, I'm sure you could do it, knock it around and put the stars all out of focus and all lines and stuff if you really tried. But the way I use it, you don't need anything. When I've got an iPhone on a tripod, you can shoot any way you want. You can shoot with your phone, you can shoot with a Bluetooth remote, you can shoot with the timer to get away from anything that you think is going to be wrong. But that works every time. And this isn't some sort of YouTube trickery. This is fair income straight down the line. I'm gonna take a photo now with the timer. I'll put them both up there and you have a look and see if you can tell the difference. Three seconds should do it. It's taking a photo now. Well, now it's taking a photo. Whilst we're waiting for that to finish, I'm curious, do you guys yourselves use a shutter? On some phones, you might go, maybe, maybe if you're using pro mode on a Samsung, but even then I've never had a problem with it. So do you guys actually use remote shutters or timers? Let me know in the comments. Prior to starting this channel, when I would go out in the backyard, like where I am now, and take photos of the stars with my DSLRs, and the cat would come out and wrap itself around the tripod legs, that would always ruin my photo. I've even had that happen with the iPhone taking a photo on a really reasonably good tripod, and it didn't affect it at all. There you go, there's two photos taken with the iPhone, one with a timer, one without a timer, and see if you can tell the difference, because there's no difference at all. Absolutely zero difference, absolutely nothing. There are exceptions to this, of course, and that is if you're a big oaf and you wanna punch that thing so hard the tripod's gonna be wobbling around when it takes the photo, it's probably going to affect it. But we're just touching it because it's a touch screen, not a push screen or a punch screen. It's a touch screen, just touch it. It will work fine. You don't need to wait for a timer or you don't need to invest in a remote shutter for your iPhone. You just don't need it, guys. That's it for today. Catch you later.